Hi guys, it's Wayne here. Today I'm going to show you how to display data from Microsoft Access Database using Visual C-Sharp.net forms. In order for us to create this project, we must have Microsoft Office Access at least 2007 and Microsoft Visual Studio at least 2008. This is the first part of my tutorial. We will be creating our database. We need to create the database first because the database will serve as the data source of our data display in our C Sharp Forms project. Let's now add a table named my contacts underscore tbl. Let's also add some fields including some inputs. As you can see, our database design is yet very very simple. I have just intended to do that because I want to shorten the length of this video. And also the purpose of this video is just only to demonstrate how to query data from Access Database using C Sharp Forms. This is the second part of the tutorial in which we will be creating our C Sharp Forms that will display the data coming from the database that was created before. Let's create a new project. Just be sure to select Windows Forms application. Now that we have our form, let's create a design that will display the data coming from the database. Let's add a data grid view and a button. We have used the data grid view to display the rows and columns of data in a grid that we can customize. We have also added a button to raise an event when the user clicks it. You know guys, it is a good programming practice when you are creating an appropriate object name, like what I'm doing now because it will really help you to find that object easily especially when you are in the coding process okay this is actually the last part of the tutorial this is the coding phase I have double clicked the button to see the code inside the forms the very first thing that we should do is to add a namespace called system.data.oledb if you did not declare this namespace all the OLEDB syntax that you have entered will not be valid and it will just result into a syntax error so let's focus in the button display code as you can see we have initialized a new instance of the OLEDB connection class we need to use this class for us to be able to open our database of course inside the OLEDB connection class we need to specify our database through the property called the connection string. In order for us to get the connection string of our database, just go to the server explorer, add connection, just make sure that you are using only DB provider. Then browse the database. And finally test it. So looks great. So let's check the properties of my database. Let's copy the connection string and then paste it inside the OLEDB connection class. I know that you have noticed the add symbol in the OLEDB connection class. So if you are quite confused in it, don't worry because it only allows us to use the reserved words. We also need to use the OLEDB data adapter class to represent a set of data commands and a database connection. So I think um, this is also a decent format of initializing this class. Let us now create a SQL statement inside the OLEDB adapter class plus the OLEDB connection variable. I have just looked up in our database to be sure that the table name that I'm typing is correct. The data set represents an in-memory cache of data. We have initialized a new data set because we will be using it in the OLEDB data adapter fill method. So there are two overloads on our fill method. The first is the data set and the second is the source table which is in a string format. 
the data table class represents one table of in-memory data. So we have to use the data table variable called tab or tab just to get the table from the data set. And finally, we can now set the data source of our data grid view display. You may be asking that, why don't we just set the data source of the data grid view directly to the database? Well, my answer is, the data grid view isn't able to communicate directly to the database. Therefore, we need to use the OLA DB namespace, including the system.data namespace and its properties and methods. Oh, here it is! Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate this video and please let me know if it helps.